what's up guys, Slop Top Nuts here with another quick video and today I would like to talk about the HP ZBook series laptop. Uh, in particular here, uh, the, uh, this is HP Fury uh, G8 series mobile workstation. So this, uh, this laptop comes with a Core i7 11 generation. However, uh, HP gives you uh, tons of different variations uh, uh, to, to choose from. And overall, uh, I would call the ZBook as a working horse laptop because uh, based on my personal experience, they hardly ever break. Uh, so uh, you actually can, uh, in terms of processor, you can, uh, there's a few variations of uh, different Core i7 11 generation uh, processors to choose from. You can go um, up to uh, Core i9 uh, and all the way to uh, Intel Xeon processor. Uh, there is actually quite a bit of different um, uh, possibility of graphics card. It can go anywhere from a basic UHD Intel onboard graphic card all the way up to NVIDIA RTX A5000, which will give you plenty of performance and anything in between. Uh, the, the laptop, uh, this particular version, has a 15.6 inch um, LCD screen. There's uh, two different variations. You can go with either FHD non-touch or uh, you can upgrade it to a 4K touch version. Uh, the webcam is a 720p with a nice privacy shutter here. Uh, very very soft keyboard with a backlight option uh, as well as pretty nice size uh, for business grade laptop that uh, the touchpad. Uh, laptop at 2.5 kilograms which is about 5 pounds will give you the maximum amount of performance at any tax, uh, task that you will do. And uh, uh, the best part of this laptop is uh, you know, uh, we already shoot so many videos where uh, we would sh uh, show to our viewers that how to you can possibly uh, upgrade your laptop, how you can repair it. Uh, but most of them they would involve with some actual uh, uh, technical work and where you would have to flip the laptop over and uh, would have to unscrew, pull all the screws out from the bottom case and, and use your pry tool, just uh, remove it. But the thing is, not everybody is really handy and uh, can perform such a task. And, but uh, at some play, you know, sometimes you really want to upgrade your machine and you know, to add some extra uh, for better performance. So uh, the beauty about uh, this laptop here is that, uh, and let me show you what. So check this out. So once you flip the laptop, you will see this latch here. All what you do is just simply pull it out and the, the back cover removes super easy. And here pretty much everything that you need to have in order to upgrade your device. So uh, we have here the, the, the memory RAM, so you can simply unscrew the uh, and remove this pla uh, plate in order to replace the memory RAM. We have the M2 SSD drive here. Uh, there is a Wi-Fi card, which if in case it fails, you can simply pull one screw out and just uh, replace it. Uh, again, with the, the, the cooling fans, if in, let's say you need to dust them out. Um, it's a it's pretty easy procedure as, as well. And here is the battery. So the, the laptop comes with uh, uh, eight cell uh, long life uh, battery and it actually pulls out very easy as well. So all you can just kind of uh, detach here and the battery removes. Here it is. And under the battery you can actually see the, uh, the touchpad. So let's say your touchpad failed here you go, it's a very easy fix. And here's the uh, the, the SATA uh, connector, so if let's say you need to upgrade it uh, with a, a 2.5 uh, HDD or SSD drive, that's where it goes. So you also have the, 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 the LAN uh, uh, LTE connect, uh, the card here. And pretty much the laptop has everything here for the easy replacement. Another good uh, part that I would like to mention is that 
Uh, the memory RAM, there is a four slots available and you actually can go up to 128 gig of DDR4 memory and up to eight terabytes of uh, storage on this unit. So uh, very, very easy to work with. And let's see here, uh, as you can see here, uh, we have a full HDMI port, uh, two Thunderbolt uh, Type-C. Uh, there is uh, the, the, the power connector here. On the other side, um, there's a two USB ports, an audio port, and a VLAN. Uh, the uh, from uh, RTX A3000 uh, series, uh, the, the laptop will require 10.3 amp power adapter. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty heavy, but it is what it is. So overall, highly recommended laptop will pretty much do any task and super easy to upgrade. Thank you very much for watching guys. Peace and love to everybody.